All right, it looks like we've got some, some more folks online, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, again, my name is Susanna Gills. I am uh, a business development manager with Turner Construction. Patrick Johnson is joining us today from Memphis. Uh, he is our project exec over there, and um, we're here to present about Turner 101. So before we get started, just go to the menti.com link on the screen, enter the code, and we will get rolling. A uh, couple just quick requests before we uh, get into the meat of the presentation. A little bit of webinar etiquette. Just make sure, I think most folks who have signed on have done this, but make sure that your name is showing up uh, in your participant, in the participant list. Um, please make sure you're muted when you aren't speaking um, and try to stay still if you are speaking. Uh, we're gonna practice that skill too, um, but wanna make sure that the background noise is minimized. Um, make sure that we've got cameras stable and we're looking at the camera when we're speaking. Um, and then ask questions. Um, we will have some time at the end of this for Q&A, but if in the interim you have a, a question to ask, you can use the raise your raise hand option in the Zoom meeting. And then we should be able to unmute you and, and engage with that question. So. Uh, appreciate y'all joining again and look forward to jumping in. So we'll go ahead and just get started. This is um, a little bit of going to be an introduction to Turner, uh, what we do as a company and who we are, um, what you could do potentially with Turner and um, some of the really cool benefits that come with working with us. Um, we're just really excited to, to get rolling with that here today. Um, we've got a great uh, list of projects and some, some fun things to share with you guys and hopefully uh, give you guys some good info for, uh, for making career decisions moving forward. So let me switch to the next slide. Uh, with that, uh, Turner was founded in 1902 by Henry Turner in New York City um, and really was the pioneer for the use of concrete uh, steel reinforced concrete uh, in the city. By the, in a couple of years, they were one of the leading builders in New York City and um, actually built a great deal of the steps in and out of the New York City subway system. Um, since then, we've continued to focus on uh, the leading edge emerging technologies in the construction industry and um, making sure that we're using the most practical and efficient processes um, as our world changes, and that continues to be the case through, through today. A little bit about myself. I am our Manager of Business Development for the Nashville uh, office of Turner Construction. I started my career with Turner actually as an intern in 2010. Uh, I returned the next summer to work as a superintendent intern um, while I was in school at Vanderbilt. I studied civil engineering and you can see the, one of my products of my handiwork, my concrete canoe on the screen. It's definitely a fun project to undertake while, uh, while in school. And then once I graduated, I came on full-time working at Vanderbilt University Medical Center as a project engineer, managing multiple renovations at a time on that healthcare campus. I worked for about two years as a business development engineer, supporting the role that I currently am in. Um, helping to navigate contracts and project awards and bring in new work for the company. Uh, it's a very exciting aspect of our business and got to use uh, a lot of the skills I learned on the project to win new work with clients in Nashville. I returned to the project side of things for a couple of years and was able to lead an account for, with multiple hospitals in the Nashville area and all of the renovation work that took place there. And then earlier this year, I transitioned to leading our business development efforts in the Nashville market. So anything from commercial high rises to hotels to healthcare projects are under my purview and we're trying to make sure our people are staying busy. Uh, with that, um, I, just a little bit of personal stuff. I uh, have a picture here with my husband from a ski trip we got to do a couple years ago. And then uh, my favorite uh, former residence was uh, a summer that I got to live in a conversion van, solar powered. And that was kind of what led me down the path of 
studying civil engineering and how buildings can interact with their environment. When you start on that scale and build up, there's, there's only one way to go. So it was a, a great opportunity. With that, I'll let Patrick introduce himself. Yeah, thanks, Susanna. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for taking some time out of your day to, uh, to, to learn a little bit more about our organization. A little bit about myself, um, as Susanna mentioned, um, I sit in the Memphis office. I've been in Memphis for the last 15 years of my career. Uh, I started out uh, actually working in, uh, in our Huntsville office, spent two years there, and then transitioned to Memphis uh, back in 2005. Um, so anyway, um, I am a graduate of Auburn University, uh, the building, School of Building Science. Um, and what my primary role is with Turner is, is, uh, is executive over a uh, majority of our healthcare clients here in the Memphis area. We've done a lot of work for uh, a few key, key clients such as Methodist Labonner Healthcare um, and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Uh, my timeline, as I mentioned early in my career, started out in Huntsville, did some engineering work, uh, worked on several projects, uh, and then had an opportunity to move to Memphis to continue that and uh, move, moved into the project management role day-to-day -day operations, managing uh, managing the budget, managing the schedules and things of that nature. And now I oversee uh, a series of different projects and project managers. Uh, so that's a little bit about me um, and a couple of the projects that I've, I've had an opportunity to work on their profile. So um, with that, we'll move on uh, and talk a little bit more about who we are. Um, <clears throat> so as Susanna mentioned, uh, Turner was founded by Henry Turner back in 1902. Um, and we were founded with the same principles and values that we still hold today. And those are teamwork, integrity, and commitment. Uh, you know, those are, those are timeless values that we, we can always stick behind in everything that we do. Uh, we always evaluate those three core values to ensure that we're, we're, we're treating our, ourselves the right way, treating our coworkers, and treating our, our clients and trade partners that way as well. Um, Henry Turner was, uh, he was famous for saying that we treat our clients as our respected friends. Uh, he truly believed that uh, in, in, in the history of Turner, when, when you go back and read some things, a lot of the things that he did were just on good, good faith handshakes. Um, and he built a, an amazing organization that is that has withstood 118 years and, and, and is even better uh, today than it was. Um, our vision is to, you know, be the highest uh, value provider in the construction services. Uh, we, we, we strive every single day to get better. Uh, we, we really focus on serving our clients and making sure that we listen to them on the front end and, and going out and executing that work. And our purpose uh, really is just to make a difference in the lives of people, our customers, and our community. Um, this is something that, that, again, goes back to those values of just being a team-oriented team type of company. And, uh, and we have really redefined how we, how we make that difference. Uh, we're more than a construction company on most days, and you'll learn a little bit more about other things that we do as an organization. Our primary focus, of course, is construction, but we, we also have different uh, groups within our company that really focus on community and citizenship and things of that nature to ensure that we're, we're holistically um, um, treating our clients the right way. Uh, let's go on to the next slide, if we could. Um, so a little bit about who we are um, geographically. Um, Susanna mentioned we started back uh, in New York City and since then we have grown to a network of 47 offices uh, domestically and you can see the, the map locations there that highlight all of the different uh, offices and you'll notice that we, we have an office in I would say 75% of the major cities across the U.S. Um, and then we've also uh, have some international offices. Uh, we've, we've got a lot of uh, construction management, um, uh, program management for clients, um, not so much as construction, but more program and, and, and construction management per se uh, for those clients uh, and on an international basis. Um, so a couple of projects notable in our history, you can see going all the way back to 1902. Uh, these are just some of the highlight projects that Turner has completed. Some of them, you know, some of them you may recognize. Uh, we talked a little bit about the subway stairs. That was one of our early projects. Uh, we built the United Nations. Uh, our company did Madison Square Garden in New York, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We built the new Yankee Stadium about 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Uh, one of the projects you see there to the top right is the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Um, the healthcare project. Um, healthcare represents about 20% of what we do. That's my, my particular focus, but um, really when clients have uh, 
really challenging projects, often they'll call upon us to really help us help bring us in early for these projects. So that's just a couple of the, the highlighted projects. You'll see more in some videos as we as we go through this that talk about things that we've done over the last last year or two. Uh, and so where, where do we stand as far as uh, other general contractors and construction managers? Uh, we, we are number one in a lot of categories, uh, time and time again. Uh, occasionally we'll be number two, but we're always around that number one, uh, that number one general builder, uh, number one green builder too. And you'll hear a little bit more about our green initiatives and, and lean, lead initiatives from Susanna. Um, and in the, the note over there to the right, Turner has built 10 of the, 10 of the 100 tallest buildings in the world. The photo you see there is actually the largest uh, from a height perspective, uh, freestanding building um, west of the Mississippi. It's the Wilshire Grand uh, Center Hotel. We built that about, about four years ago, a remarkable project um, and very, very uh, big foundation system. So a lot of, a lot of fun to get to, to get to highlight some of those on our, on our resumes, uh, but we, 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 work on just about every type of market segment that you see listed there. Um, so I think that's, uh, I'm gonna hand it off back to Susanna to talk a little bit more about our regional operations. Thanks Patrick. Yeah, I was zooming in a little bit. Uh, we have 10 offices across the Southeast that we continually share resources with. Um, from our space in Nashville, we really focus on the Nashville, Huntsville and Memphis areas. Um, and that's where our resources are centralized. Um, but we've worked as far north as uh, Northwest Kentucky, as far south as New Orleans, uh, from, from Nashville, Huntsville, and Memphis. And then we collaborate continuously with our colleagues in Charlotte and Atlanta and Orlando and all over the Southeast. Um, between the three offices that we cl closest uh, affiliate with, we have about 275 employees and then about that same number of uh, trades employees as well. Zooming in a little further, uh, wanting to show you some of our cool projects around the Nashville area. We have been in Nashville for a little over 45 years and in that time frame built a variety of projects from the new Tennessee State Museum that opened last year and that's pictured on the slide. Uh, and as well as, uh, again, a strong healthcare builder in Nashville. We've got a vertical expansion where we actually built four new floors on top of an operating children's hospital, uh, which is a very exciting, again, complex job, like Patrick said. And then we've also built a handful of other project types. Uh, we're wrapping up a project down at uh, Middle Tennessee State University that some of our callers may be familiar with. We build high-rise core and shell office buildings. We have also done uh, projects in our special projects division that focuses on either renovations or really complex projects. The Bobby Bones Studio may sound familiar to some of you guys. And then uh, down in the center on the bottom of the screen is actually a really unique historic renovation in downtown Nashville on the Broadway Strip where we retained the original brick structure of the building and built an entirely new or brick exterior of the building, excuse me, and built a whole new steel structure within. Uh, so again, just really cool complex projects that we get to work on in addition to uh, new high-rise uh, multifamily residential projects and data centers as well. <clears throat> So a little bit about our Memphis network. Um, this is a map uh, location just highlighting a couple of the clients that we've worked with across the, across the city. Um, our roots uh, in Memphis actually go back to 1986 when we started working on the St. Jude campus and we built about a million square feet of their campus inclusive of two major buildings and a, and a parking garage. Um, we worked through the 80s and 90s in, in Memphis primarily working for St. Jude and a couple of other healthcare clients. Uh, and then we came back in the early 2000s when I moved back here, uh, kind of refocusing on healthcare as a, as a staple. But since then, we've grown to include uh, a wealth of additional clients. Um, some of the projects that we've done here is the uh, the top left there is the uh, Shelby County Health Department, uh, which is actually the, the the health department for the county. Uh, been a great project for us. It's been an interesting project, especially amidst the whole COVID. A pandemic, uh, the health department has, has been highlighted a lot on the news. And so it's been fun to be able to interact with, with that and, and be able to provide a great state of the art facility for them. The one on the bottom left is a, is a hospital campus and just highlights 
somewhat like uh, Susanna mentioned, we do a lot of special projects, uh, things that are, that are smaller projects. We're known for, we're known for our big work, but we also, um, one of the previous slides mentions we did, we do about 1500 projects worldwide per year. Uh, and the average size of our project can range anywhere from, you know, 15 to $20 million and, and, and even smaller for, for those annuity type clients. And then upwards to, uh, you know, a billion dollar uh, project that we're doing out on the West Coast for the, uh, for the Rams. Uh, the, the project in the middle there, top middle is St. Jude Children's Research uh, Hospital. And then um, the bottom, bottom right is actually our office location. We built that out a couple years ago, new office location. So um, we're proud of our projects here in town. And then uh, we also maintain an office in Huntsville. Uh, Huntsville uh, actually has, has been around that office uh, since the late 80s, uh, where we actually acquired a, a concrete company, Universal Construction, and we, and we, we formed eventually Turner Construction, bought out Universal, formed Turner Universal, and now we're just all one big Turner. But you can see some of the highlighted projects there. The top left is actually the, um, the Space and Rocket Center, if, if you've ever traveled through Huntsville. Uh, we actually poured the foundations for the Saturn V rocket there back in the uh, <clears throat> late 80s. And then uh, back in the early 2000s, we did the Davidson Center for Space Exploration, which is the building just adjacent to it. Um, top right is the Memphis Botanical Gardens. Top bottom right is the uh, the new uh, Huntsville, um, I forget the name of their, their team. It's a, I think it's a double A team, but the, um, the, uh, the trash pandas. The trash pandas. Um, thank you. So, <laughs> Did their facility uh, just wrapped it up uh, uh, last year, and then some of the other work you see there is Jacksonville State and Jacksonville, Alabama, which is which is um, about an hour and a half southeast of Huntsville. So um, that was one that the client asked us to do some work, and we 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 had a great relationship with them. So um, let's see. So what you're seeing now, I'm going to let this video play. This is actually Turner City. Uh, every year, uh, Turner. Since, since the 19, I believe 1915, 1916, uh, we started doing um, a, a model of what all uh, projects we do in a yearly basis. And you'll see, uh, we used to do it, it was all done by hand uh, by an artist uh, uh, that stayed in the artist family for three generations. They would hand draw each of our projects into, uh, into a scaled model of a city. They would recreate a city so everything that you see in this video is actually projects from Ohio to Washington um, that Turner completed in 2019. Every year, um, as technology has changed, we've integrated this with our BIM technologies and we do this more in-house. Um, but this is just a neat way to be able to uh, visually show and showcase some of our, um, our really neat, neat and unique projects that we've done and we're proud of. Um, large research and development facility there in New York. And if you go to our website, um, www.turnerconstruction.com, there's actually a link to the full video. I think we have a, a condensed version of it here just for time purposes, but you can actually go in and download and it's actually interactive where you can hover over and learn a little bit more about the size and who was the architect and um, a little bit more about, about some of our project experiences. Um, so feel free to feel free to learn uh, go there and learn. Patrick, you want to jump to the next one? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. There we go. Um, and so um, another thing that I wanted to highlight is, is, our, is our culture uh, of safety. Um, Turner has always been on the forefront of being, uh, being front and center with safety, creating a safety program that, uh, that is, that is um, top notch. Um, people are our best asset. We say that every single day and it's not just words, it's really the truth. And um, so we've, we've created a safety program that really uh, focuses on making sure that, uh, that all of our employees and our trade contractors, which includes 10,000 individuals in, 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 on any given day, um, are really uh, the safest they can be. Uh, coupled with that, um, we have also engaged with active caring and what active caring is is really taking safety to the next step and really focusing on uh, creating a, 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 a an environment of, of, um, of make sure that all of our people feel safe and feel welcome and um, it's been a it's been a tremendous asset that 
that that makes our mission of developing a culture where people can you know be so proud of what they do and and really creating safe work environments for our individuals um, so um, this is just a little bit about some of the technologies that we use. Uh, we're on the forefront of integrating technology into what we do. Uh, you're seeing actually 40 models of uh, uh, exterior skin takeoff and steel takeoff so that we can help plan our work uh, on the front end. Uh, technology has been a game changer in our industry over the last 25 years. And Turner, uh, if, if you're registered, I believe there's actually a webinar upcoming in the, in the next couple of weeks that focuses a little bit more about our technology. So I uh, just wanted to highlight a little bit of what, what we do. Uh, we integrate, um, we have a full-time uh, uh, VDC, virtual design and construction engineer or manager who does nothing but this kind of stuff. Um, he's actually in Memphis today working on a few of our projects, helping us with some things. So um, what's next? And talk a little bit about sustainability um, and appreciate uh, apologize one for my technology struggles I have not uh, hosted a zoom meeting with audio yet so there was supposed to be some audio track on that prior slide but uh, we'll make sure that that uh, is, is fixed for the next one um, but overall Turner takes uh, a lot of pride in our, our status as the number one green builder in the nation as well um, we have invested more than $60 billion into green buildings and have more, built more than 680 LEED certified buildings over, since that program developed in the early 2000s. Uh, several of our folks, inclu myself included, are LEED uh, accredited professionals. And we also take our waste very seriously. Whether or not a project pursues LEED, we are tracking waste and making every effort we can to divert that waste from landfills. Um, and our efforts in sustainability kind of focus in three big areas, environmental efficiency, resiliency, and green building. We've spoken a little bit about the green building side as well, but it's from an efficiency and resiliency standpoint, we really try to help our clients and designers focus on, on the life of their building. While we're only there for the very first few months of it, uh, we wanna make sure that their buildings are as efficient as possible and that they will be able to withstand um, any changes that come in the future, whether that's um, stronger storms or uh, different uh, heat indexes in their, in their cities. So um, we as a company took a stance about, I think two years ago um, in advance of 2020 to say that by the year 2030, we were going to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 50% in 10 years which is really aggressive. And we're making steps now to start the metering process so we can keep track and set those benchmarks and then begin chipping away at them. So very exciting stuff that's happening on that side as well. Uh, similar to our uh, BDC manager, we also have positions dedicated in sustainability um, that are primarily focused in our New York office, but we have uh, local sustainability managers who have a dual role of that as well as um, either project engineers or pre-construction engineers to, to help our projects uh, move forward in that regard as well. Uh, we are also a really great place to work. Patrick will get into some of the benefits uh, that are offered as a Turner employee. But uh, as you guys know, I started as an intern and never looked back. Um, we are highly reviewed by the groups that you'll see on the screen. And then in Nashville and Memphis recently, we're awarded uh, from our local business journal, best places to work. So it's a great uh, testament to the care that we share for our employees, the culture that we've built in these offices, um, and the just having that being recognized is really, really fulfilling. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier um, about our community engagement. Uh, really, um, we, we focus not only just on the on the day to day uh, construction industry, but really how how do, how do we get involved with the community? You know, we want our we want our employees to feel like they're part of the community, and they really are. Um, last year alone, we hosted 525 events uh, across the nation, uh, from you know 
helping out at a local shelter to doing volunteer work, to anything uh, we celebrate. Um, we actually have our Founders Day every year, uh, May 4th, uh, May 5th, I believe. Um, and every year we get together and we go out and we, we go out in the city and do different different service projects. But above and beyond that, we also do other things throughout the year. And we, in, in several of our offices, we have a, we have a CNC director, Community and Citizenship. Um, we have one that sits in Nashville and then we have a, 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 someone who sits here in the Memphis office as well that focuses on how we engage with the community and help uh, help make sure that we're doing the right things, uh, not only just for just for our, our construction projects, but really as part of the community uh, itself. Um, one of the other things is uh, is just staying connected, uh, especially for for college graduates and, um, and and different individuals within the company. We we several years ago informed um, uh, rolled out what we call the ERG program, Employee Research Resource Groups. And you can see several of those groups that exist. Uh, one in particular is the young professionals, uh, where those who are new to construction uh, straight out of school have an opportunity to connect with their peers. Uh, it's kind of just a, an opportunity to get together, talk about um, what you're doing. Hey, how can I help you? Uh, we're, we're, we're not siloed at all. I think we've come a long way as an organization and we're very open to helping each other. And, uh, I'm just very proud of all the different groups that have formed out of out of these ERGs. It's been a great way to have additional connectivity beyond just the uh, just the construction itself. Um, and then, you know, it's our, our commitment to racial equity and inclusion is is on the forefront uh, uh, now more than ever. Um, I'm very proud of who we are as a company. Uh, every every Friday, um, which is pretty impressive, every Friday, uh, we actually our CEO hosts a webinar. Um, this is something that started this year that talks about things uh, that really matter in our in our world, not just in the construction, but you know things that really matter in the world. And how are we how are we representing ourselves as a leader in in, in racial equity and inclusion? And um, and he shares he shares stories and he sh he shares you know things that that we're learning across our job sites um, to make sure that we're we're doing again we're not just construction we're we're actually we're, we're community partners. We're, we're making sure that, that we're creating this this great environment um, that people feel welcome uh, of, of of any race uh, and, and any diverse background. We really have a focus on making sure that everyone feels feels at home at Turner Construction. Um, and then you know, again, I know we keep saying great place to work, but uh, Susanna and I can attest we've both been here our entire careers, and it really is a great place to work. Some of the benefits that uh, that you'll see at Turner, uh, we have tremendous uh, healthcare coverage, medical, dental, vision. Uh, our our company has a healthcare fitness class reimbursement, where actually we get up to fifty percent of our uh, dues reimbursed up to a certain dollar value. Uh, we have paid time off uh, coming out of college, and that time actually inc increases the more the, the more tenure you have within the organization. Tuition reimbursement, which is great for those uh, who are who are seeking a, a an advanced degree, an MBA or a specialized degree, uh, we actually have a reimbursement program uh, that exists where Turner will actually pay for you to go back to school, um, uh, you know, on your own time once you graduate. Uh, we have a great retirement plan, uh, uh, a lot of a lot of resources in house about how to set up four hundred one ks and really manage that, and we have a. A, a partial matching program uh, that, that, that gets better over time. Uh, in, inside legal services, for those who need legal service help uh, in their personal lives, we have uh, great life insurance um, uh, reimbursements, great um, uh, matching programs where you actually at automatic life insurance enrollment to a certain value. And then something that's become even more prevalent over the last couple of years, identity protection. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's something that you kind of take for granted until you need it. Um, but uh, we've, we've rolled out a program where Turner can actually help protect the identity, uh, really and provide a safe, safe haven for your, your finances and whatnot. Uh, and then also wanted to highlight Turner University. Uh, Turner University is actually an online system where you can go in and take classes, uh, not, not real college courses, but if, if you're coming out of school and you've, you've done, uh, let's say you've done civil engineering and you're, and you're wanting to get involved in the construction industry, which you don't, you've never really had a formal class on how to, uh, how to review and, and read uh, architectural blueprints. We have a class on that. You can go online, 
register for 30 minute class and actually uh, do that in your own time frame. And so there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of courses that Turner has created and they're all free of charge. Uh, and I tell all of our young, young uh, individuals who've come in, hey, spend some time uh, perusing through there, find, find some things that pique your interest. I have found things through the years that I didn't even know existed and I've, I've taken some classes. So a uh, tremendous amount of resources that we, we offer. Yeah, in addition to that, uh, just continuing to um, speak to what our early assignments looked like. I know Patrick and I both mentioned how we how we came into Turner, but these are some of the departments and roles that that you guys can expect to to fill when you come on with Turner. Um, we continually are placing people in the right departments where the need is, uh, as well as what matches your skill and interest. Um, but again, with, with that, there is, there's always the opportunity to, to flex and move around and try something new. Uh, if you raise your hand after being an engineer for a little while and say, hey, I'd, I'd like to be a superintendent or I'd like to see cost or estimating, that, that's your choice. And uh, it's really exciting to, to have that opportunity and to be able to be flexible. I think despite being a, a very large company, we, we feel like a very small family. Of, uh, of people and very responsive to, to everybody's needs and, and long-term goals. Um, so if we have anyone who's not necessarily an engineer on the line, uh, both as Patrick and I have, have roots in that background, um, but there are a lot of other things that you can do with Turner as well. Um, we have opportunities in um, business development, like what I do, um, in our BIM and DDC group. We have groups that focus on finance, accounting, human resources, community and citizenship, uh, lean and sustainable construction, like I said. So there are lots of options uh, outside of the engineering or uh, building science throughout as well. Um, and then just kind of to, to start wrapping things up, um, every day is different with Turner, whether you're in the field or in an office position, uh, you will have the opportunity to face new interactions and new, new challenges, meet new people every single day. And that's what I have loved about it. Um, every, every time that I can rely on a information and, and vet that with, with our subcontractors and feel like we're, we're both in agreement and on the same page and moving in the same direction, it's just really rewarding. Um, our, our schedules are challenging. Uh, there is a lot to do in the span of a week, um, but it's exciting to see that, that real tangible progress be made, whether you're on a project or in estimating or anything like that. And then um, just a little bit of conflict management. We're not, I'm not necessarily out on a project swinging a hammer or putting up studs to frame a wall but I am helping to, to shepherd the process of getting us to that point. Um, and every personality is different, and sometimes that comes with a little bit of conflict management, but the really rewarding thing at the end of the day is to, to really ma master these three aspects. And if you can work with people, you can work in construction. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the future of Turner. These are this is just a, a, um, a sampling of uh, of who all we've hired over the last um, the last year in our Huntsville and, and Nashville and Memphis markets. If you if you're if you're in any of the schools, uh, you may recognize a couple of faces. So uh, if you're interested in Turner, uh, we'd love to love to talk more. Uh, the next slide is is going to talk. I think our last slide has some information about how to apply. Um, unfortunately, we can't do in person recruiting this year like we have in the past, but uh, we're certainly uh, bringing more more individuals on as we continue to grow our great organization. So, um, with that, we're going to open it up to um, questions. Oh, if you if you didn't hear Suzanne at the front end, um, please go to this website, Minty, um, and, and register your attendance. That that way, uh, we have we have your your contact information, and we can do some follow ups as need be. Uh, please please let us know you're here. Um, so with that. Uh, we'll open it up for any questions that you may have. I believe you can unmute yourself. I believe that you can type in a Q&A and um, Susanna and I will do our absolute best to answer those questions. I don't 
don't see anything in the chat window. Um, oh, here's a question. Um, does Turner do a majority of design build or plan and spec jobs? Um, I would say that we do a variety of both. I believe that's coming from Madeline. Uh, Madeline, we do a, a variety of both. I, um, our, our primary focus, and I would say the majority, is probably more of on the design build or, or construction management uh, type of approach. Uh, we prefer to do projects where we are able to get, in, get our foot in the door early on and work with the design team. Um, we've shifted uh, to also an IPD approach, and IPD is integrated project delivery where we're actually brought on board at the same time as the architects and engineers and work together in a collaborative uh, fashion. Um, we do a few, a few plan and spec jobs, design bid build uh, when, when, when needed, um, but our preference is actually to, to try to negotiate work early on. And, and like you saw in the early slide, um, I don't know if it was in there, but about 75% of the work that we do is actually with repeat clients. Uh, we, we are not an organization who goes out and just chases any job just to get a job. Uh, we really focus on making sure that we treat our, our clients the right way doing a good job so that when they have the next project, which a lot of them do, um, they'll, they'll call upon us and, and, and work with us. Hopefully that answers your question. I think in the Zoom uh, app, you should be able to raise your hand if you're looking to ask a question, feel free. Um, I have got the list up now of folks. Um, so if you raise your hand, let's see, we have a question from Joshua. I'm out of Louisville, Kentucky. I saw you had an office in Lexington. I will be looking for a safety internship and don't know if you know for you how much work you do in the area. Um, that's a great question, Joshua. Thank you for asking. Um, our Lexington office is, uh, is definitely a growing one. We have done work in the Northern Kentucky area for several years now, whether that's with University of Kentucky or um, at Fort Knox as well. Um, and a lot of that is focused through our, um, is, is partnered really with our Cincinnati business unit as well. Um, so I would recommend you reach out to the folks in the Lexington office. Um, you can also go to the website turnerconstruction.com slash careers and pick Lexington as, your, as the office you want to look at. Um, and there you'll be able to see uh, op options for internships. Any other questions? Okay, we have another question. Looks like it says, in the model from the presentation showing all the projects you have built in the past year, do you see the landscape of 2020 differing from past years because of COVID-19? Um, I think it's, it's the answer to that is, to be determined, but but probably more so, yes. Uh, we've 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 learned a lot um, over the last five months uh, throughout this this pandemic. Um, I will say that um, on the healthcare front, at least, I can speak more to that than I can any any other uh, part of our company. Um, the 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 healthcare providers are starting to shift their mentality on how to how to really plan for the future and be a little bit more flexible in their spaces. Um, whereas you may normally uh, have, have a particular room, serve a particular function, now you're having a room that may be able to be converted uh, to, to a dual use room. So uh, I do think that a lot of our clients are starting to, to take that into consideration. I think the first couple of months were just a fire drill trying to react. Uh, we've had a couple of our uh, clients really step back and go back to the drawing board and, and, and reevaluate how they can better uh, better orient their spaces for social distancing. So uh, I do see some changes coming. Um, it's hard to predict how that's gonna, how, what the ripple effect is gonna be across the country, but, but most definitely uh, there will be, there will be some, some evidence of change coming, coming through uh, all of this. Yeah, absolutely. In, in Nashville, we see similar uh, trends. The multifamily and residential market still seems really strong here, and that's one that we've grown a, an expertise in. Um, office buildings are maybe not going to be as, as big and tall as they have been historically. We also sense that 
some of the bigger cities where large corporate headquarters used to be, New York, Chicago, um, Los Angeles, for example, folks don't have to be there as much. So they may be willing to move to kind of those second tier cities, the Nashville, Atlanta's, um, Charlotte's of the world that they can have a more affordable cost of living um, and still be just as productive working remotely. Uh, we had a question from DeMarcus um, asking if we can speak more to the general safety of Turner as a whole. Um, and absolutely happy to, happy to speak to that. Uh, we have a dedicated program called Building Life, which essentially stands where the life stands for living injury-free every day. Um, and that really encompasses the entire culture that we have on our job sites, where we want everyone to come into work and be excited about it, feel comfortable throughout the day, and then go home to their families and be safe, sound, and excited for the next day. Uh, we really take that uh, very seriously, and it's not... Um, it's not your old school prescriptive top down, just force the rules because that's the rules, right? It's, hey, help me understand what's, what's driving you to do this work this way. Maybe we can consider a safer option or um, just being, being there on, on, the, on the same team with everyone who's on our job sites and, and making it as safe as possible. Does that answer your question? Awesome. Let's see. I think we have another one from Carlos. Carlos, how well do students who did not intern with Turner adjust to working with the company entry level field and project engineers? Uh, Patrick, you want to answer this one? Yeah, sure. I think um, I think they 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 adapt very well, uh, just due to the fact that we have a lot of lot of uh, resources available for students uh, coming straight out of school. We we understand that coming. Uh, coming out of college is 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 the the working world is brand new to a lot of individuals, and so uh, every um, every person that comes on board with Turner is assigned um, what we call a kind of a development partner uh, that that can help them make sure that they're they're guided in the right direction. Uh, we don't expect everybody to know everything, even even those those uh, those interns or co-op students who who have spent time working with us. Um, they also get a get assigned that develop get assigned that development partner to help them uh, move along in their career and make sure that they they have the right resources. So um, we also have something that every every Turner employee within the first six months uh, goes to. It's called our Lean uh, Camp that um, they're they are sent uh, sent off to a location. I'm not sure how that's actually going to uh, occur this year with uh, with travel restrictions, but uh, traditionally they go off for a week and it's kind of uh, ingrain you with every bit of knowledge about Turner um, from uh, a lot of history um, and then a lot of what we do, a lot of how we do it, a lot of our uh, metrics and, and you know, tools and, 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 and softwares that we use uh, so that when those individuals come back, they really have kind of that, uh, they're, they're what I would call Turnerized at that point in time. Um, so hopefully that answers your question but yes i mean i think um even those students who, who have not interned with us um have a great great chance i would encourage you to if you have the opportunity um to sign up for internships and you're looking uh please do go online apply and um let us know though for sure i think we have maybe one more question hopefully we don't get cut off madeline's asking um if interested in project management as an engineering undergrad what kind of entry-level job would be the most beneficial or is it possible to enter as a project manager right out of school um really if you are interested in the project management track anywhere that your place to start um, will be beneficial whether you are in the field working with a superintendent as a project engineer working with a project manager or in pre-construction all of those tracks will help you be a better project manager at the end of the day. Uh, we really like the opportunity to let our folks try new roles and flex in and out of um, from one to the other um, to let people be really well rounded. Um, I think a project manager who's been a superintendent or in pre-construction before is, is better for it. Um, so uh, keep your options open there. Um, we don't hire project managers straight out of school. We like folks to get a little bit of experience, um, but it depends on the project. If it is, um, if it's a large high-rise project, likely going to need someone with a little little tenure there. But um, hopefully that answers your question, Madeline. 
All right. Well, we are at 11.46. Uh, appreciate all of your time and questions. Thank you so much for joining. Um, and please share your feedback with us um, at the, uh, I think the link that was sent out has some, some opportunities to communicate back. So thank you guys and uh, take care. Good luck. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate it.